that his disciples didn't agree with. But Jesus, he had a different idea. Let's check it out. Stories of the Bible. Jesus is anointed at Bethany. This is Jesus. Hey -o. Who is the Son of God and the Savior of the world. While Jesus was on earth, he taught everyone about God's love and healed people from their sickness. He did many miracles like calming storms and even raised people from the dead. At this time, the Jewish people were getting ready to celebrate a festival called Passover that had been celebrated since the time of Moses when God brought his people out of Egypt. Two days before the Passover, Jesus was in Bethany at the home of Simon. Hey, 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 come on in! A man who had previously had leprosy. While Jesus was eating, a woman came in with a beautiful jar of expensive perfume. She broke the jar open and poured perfume over Jesus' head. Jesus' disciples were upset when they saw this. They said, what a waste! It could have been sold for a high price and the money given to the poor. What'd you do that for? So they scolded the woman. Ah, uh, hold on there. But Jesus said, leave her alone. Why criticize her for doing such a good thing to me? You will always have the poor among you and you can help them whenever you want to, but you will not always have me. She has poured this perfume on me to prepare my body for burial. I tell you the truth, Wherever the good news is preached throughout the world, this woman's deed will be remembered. Hey, Pastor Courtney, don't you think the disciples were, oh, well, kind of rude? A little bit. Man, they were like, oh no! Ah! Like, that's how they were acting. But Jesus, man, he showed that lady. A lot of love. He did. Man, Jesus is full of love and he tells you and me and the kids to love everyone the same. Even when, and they might not be treating you the right way. Right. Or even if you don't understand why they're doing what they're doing. We still have to show everybody love. Because even when Jesus knew we were going to mess up, yep. he came from heaven and he died on the cross for you and for me so that we could ask him to live in our heart and we could spend eternity with him in heaven. That's how much he loved us, even on days when we're cranky and we I might know. not deserve it, right? I get cranky sometimes. You get cranky yeah, sometimes. Yeah, we all but get cranky days us. sometimes. But you know what? Even when we mess up or we do something that somebody doesn't understand or somebody does something to us that we don't understand, we always have to respond in love because Jesus loved us first and he was the greatest example. And he loved us so much and he wants to live in your heart and be with you every single day. If you've never asked Jesus to live in your heart, we want to pray with you today so that you can ask him to live in your heart forever. Are you ready? Let's pray together. Dear Jesus, Dear Jesus, thank you for your sacrifice. Thank you for your sacrifice. Thank you for loving me. Thank you for loving me. Even when I mess up. Even when I mess and up. And even when I'm grumpy. And even when I'm grumpy. Come and live in my heart. Come and live in my heart. And help me to love others. And help me love others. In your name. In your name. Amen. Amen. So if you prayed that prayer today, we're so excited for you. Jesus lives in your heart, and he's going to help you love others the way that he loves you. Comment below and let us know that you made Jesus the Lord of your life today. It's time for worship. in me help me to love like you love me even when i want to go my own way jesus you make me strong no i won't give up even when it's tough i'm gonna shine my light for you yes i will do good and i will be I'm gonna shine my light for you I'll shine for you Lord, I'll 
I'll be patient and I will share so others see how much you care even when I want to go my own way Jesus you make me strong though I won't give up even when it's tough I'm gonna shine my life for you yes I will do good and I will be kind I'm gonna shine my life for you I'll shine for you must not quarrel, but must be kind to everyone. 2 Timothy 2, 24. Let me show you the actions. Hey, Kenny, come out. Let me show you. A servant of the Lord must not quarrel, but must be kind to everyone. 2 Timothy 2, 24. Repeat after me. A servant of the Lord, A servant of the Lord must not must not quarrel, quarrel, but must be kind, but must be kind to everyone, to everyone. Second Timothy, Second Timothy, two twenty four, two twenty four. Guess what? It's summer, and guess what that means? Summer camps. That's right. I said it. Summer camps. If you're four years old to fourth grade, we have a camp for you on July eleventh, and we also have a camp. 5th to 12th grade on July 23rd through the 26th. And make sure to register online so you can have the summer of your life. Thanks for joining us today. Now, let's pray. Jesus, thank you so much for allowing us to come together online and allow us to remember to love everyone like Jesus loves us. In Jesus' name, amen. Bye, guys!